We have 14 people in the room right now. Wow. Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to the eLearning Success Summit launch for 2021. Um, uh, my name is Stephen Laddick and I am just making sure that everything is working here. Uh, just getting everything up and running. We're just going to give some time before everybody comes into the, you know, as, as people come in, we want to just give some time so people can um, join us. All right, there we go. Shazam, I have my colleague Christian Duque with me as well. He works with me at LMS Pulse as well. Um, just want to thank everybody. You know, right now we have something like 6,300 people that are signed up for this thing. So while you are, um, I'm gonna, just gonna have my video on for right now while I look around and see what's going on. Oh. Um, while, you're, while you're coming in, I'd love to know where you're from. So tell me, we have a truly global audience here tonight. Uh, well, I guess it's tonight for me. So, you know, maybe on the other side of the planet, it's the morning if you're in Tokyo, if you're in Bangkok, if you're in Australia, it's already almost the afternoon, I think, in, in Australia. Um, tell us where you're from. If you are, you know, um, have you ever been in an online event like this before? Um, I, you know, over the last year, it would be really surprising to me if you hadn't. Um, tell us what, you know, institution you're from. Are you from a company? Are you from a school? Are you from a university? Um, do you teach a course? Um, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'd like to know about you. And I'm actually going to pop over and see what's going on over there. So again, my name is Stephen Laddick. It's, you know, it's two after the hour here. We're going to give until, you know, give some five minutes or so to uh, to see what's going on here. Um, just wanted to check out some of the comments. Jenna Carraro, nice. Kim, wonderful to see you. Uh, Ava, wonderful to see you as well. AJ, uh, let's see. I'm going to butcher your name. Sorry, is it Sherney? Glixney? Um, who knows what it is? Let's see. Who else do we have? Who else do we have? We have Ann Mustin, AJ Dyka. Cool. I, yeah. So if you're just popping in right now, it looks like we got like 26 people in the room right now. We're hoping to have quite a few more people as the hour goes on. Again, my goal today is to just sort of give an overview of what this, what's going to happen in the summit. A look at some of the speakers that we have. We've got like 72 hours of speakers. Can you believe that? Um, some of them are going to be live. Some of them are pre-recorded. We have a ton of great information that is going to help you, uh, you know, level up your e-learning game. Um, so yeah. So if you're popping in right now, uh, please, you know, put your name in the comments there, or, or you should do a do a comment and just tell me, like, where are you from? What you know? Who do you work for? What school do you work for? Are you at a company? Uh, and, and what's your what what part of the e-learning universe are you from? Are you an instructor? Are you an instructional designer? Um, are you an administrator? Uh, do you work in ed tech? Uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, I'd like to know. I'd like to know. Let's see who else is coming in here. Nice. Looks like our audience is growing here. We have 30 people or so in the room. Just going to give it a few more minutes here just to see who else might come in. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll get some people from around the world. Margie Sawafford from Columbia, South Carolina. South Carolina. Very nice to see you. Very nice to see you. Leo Victorious. Um, who else? Who else? Who else am I seeing here? From Melbourne. I, I like, I love that um, Sharon and you're from Melbourne, Florida. That's great. My colleagues over at eCreators um, will, will love that a lot, although uh, they're actually in Australia. Nice. Like I said today, we're going to talk about, um, you know, what's going to go on with the summit, uh, what, uh, what you can expect as an attendee at the summit. Um, and, you know, we're going to be giving away some all access passes as well. If you can answer some trivia um, and, you know, it, it, there's just some really exciting stuff here. So, uh, you know, about 30 more seconds and I'm just going to kick it off here and, and, and get it moving. Um, 
but we did this summit last year and uh, we had a great time with it. A ton of learning, ton of, ton of value was added. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to even better this year. This year, there's a lot of stuff. And actually, I'm going to explain that in just a second. So I'm going to you know hold off for a minute. All right, 30 more seconds. And then we're going to kick this thing off here. 34 people in the room with us. Great. If you've just joined us, I see Paula Ponce from Quito, Ecuador. Thanks. JT Senior from Jamaica. Fantastic. Um, you know, if you if you just joined us, I'd really love it if you'd, you know, put in the comments there, like what your name is, where you're from, uh, if you're willing to tell us what institution you work for and and what, you know, what part of the e-learning spectrum you are, are you in, right? Are you an instructor, instructional designer? Uh, are you in some other portion of, of, of ed tech? Um, are you building a course? Are you interested in, you know, uh, are, do you have like an expert? Maybe you wrote a book or something like that and you want to build a master class and you're figuring out how to do it and how to engage learners. Um, it's all relevant here and I'm excited to have you. All right, let's kick this party off right now. Um, first of all, the summit, just for everybody knows, the summit starts tomorrow in, in the Western hemisphere. And so later in the day in the, in the, in the Eastern hemisphere of the globe. So uh, the summit is April 20th, 21st and 22nd. It runs over three full days. We actually have um, sessions that go from 10 a.m. New York all the way around to 9 a.m. New York again the next day on all three days. It's really something you can't miss. You can get a free ticket right now if you're joining us and you you know you haven't um, seen this before, you haven't heard of it. Maybe you you know you're you're coming in from uh, somebody's link or um, you just kind of heard of us you know through Facebook. Please you know go over to elearningsuccesssummit.com and get your free ticket. Join uh, and and join us. There's more than 6,300 colleagues uh, with you right now. So. Let, let's just talk about what, what the deal is. So we had the first summit last April. And like I said, you know, again, we had thousands and thousands of people show up to that ton of learning, a lot of great stuff. And we polled our audience at LMS Pulse, which is right over here. I always get my fingers wrong. LMS Pulse, which I'm from. And then we also, um, you know, asked all of the attendees. They said, we said, what do you, should we do another summit? Did you have a good time? We also asked them, what topic would you like? You know, is this an important thing? You know, what 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 are the pieces that you want to make sure that you learn about? And then what do we what should we do differently? Uh, you know, what did they like and what they did they not like about last year's summit? Luckily for me, I, I guess luckily for me and Chris, you know, the the answer was overwhelmingly yes. So yes to everything. So yes, we want another summit because this was important and valuable. Um, the topic that bubbled up from everybody was learner engagement. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw something up on the screen here right now, which is one of my favorite quotes. I actually used it last year, and it's because it's from last year, but it really captures everything for you, right? Here's Angie Maxwell. You know, she tweeted this. You know, this is right. And she's like, found my kid playing with her dog instead of zooming with her teacher. She told me not to worry. She took a screenshot of herself paying attention, then cut to her video and replaced it with her picture. You know, it's a gallery of view of 20 kids, mom. They can't tell. So not only is this sort of thumbing your nose at, you know, hey, we're, we're online learning right now. And for everybody who's out there, if, you, if you've seen the e-learning podcast, if you've listened to anything that I've done, you know, I've got three kids as well. They're all, you know, sort of in that primary school age range as well. I've seen the engagement issues here. But this is also going on with adult learners as well, right? Um, if you have, you know, students in university, what's, what's the number one thing that we're seeing about um, you know, students going back to school, super anxiety about, um, you know, will they be able to make it? What sort of mental health problems are out there? All of this adds up to, are they staying engaged, right? Do you have a remote team that you're working with? How do you keep that remote team engaged and, you know, and feeling they're part of a team? And then finally, they asked, you know, when we asked, what should we do differently? The answer was, the answer came out pretty clear. One, People said, let's do some live sessions, right? Last year, everything was pre-recorded, and um, you know, we, uh, we we just sort of let the content roll out for self-consumption. This year, we have 20 live sessions, right? Let's just like that. That's amazing. 20 hours of live sessions, and we have them from from the top professionals in the world, right? Uh, we got, uh, and I'm actually going to go over that in just a second. And then, you know, another thing they asked for was opportunities for question and answers, right? Real-time feedback. Um, and so we've answered by creating a Slack workspace that is free for everybody to come into. Right now, there's just over 6,300 people in that Slack right now. Um, and you can connect with your colleagues. You can connect with speakers. You can uh, you know, just interact with everybody that you want. Um, so we've answered that call as well. And then you know, the socialization aspect of it, right? You go to a conference to learn and pick up new material. But you also go to a conference to connect with others, right? That's that's usually where the magic happens in the hallway, at the coffee, you know, the coffee that you have, you know, during break periods, um, 
you know, the random meetings that you have and you, know, you take somebody out to lunch and suddenly you've got a new partnership forming. Um, and that's what we've really tried to facilitate this year with our Slack channel. I'm just gonna pop over there right now um, and I will show you, you know, right now you can see up here at the top, you know, 6,600 people are in this Slack right now. So I really encourage you to, uh, you know, come on over, register for Ealing Success Summit and jump in because it's gonna be a huge social event. Everybody's starting to uh, introduce themselves, tell us where they're from, uh, you know, what they're looking forward to and whatnot. Um, so the question that we have, you know, I, I sort of alluded to earlier is whether or not learner engagement really is a problem. I showed you my favorite tweet there. Um, but we've, we've heard this over and over again in the e-learning industry, right? We've heard that completion rates are horrid, especially on self-paced courses, right? You have somebody come into a self-paced course, not only in the MOOCs, you know, like Udemy and Coursera and whatnot, not only in those really large MOOCs areas, but in corporate spaces, right? Where somebody has to do compliance training or somebody, you know, has some leadership training. And then, especially when you have, you know, courses that level up in any of the self-paced stuff, the drop-off rate uh, in e-learning is just, it's just fantastic. Dropouts, of course, is just in general are huge, right? And then uh, if you, you have to be living under a rock to know that um, Zoom fatigue is a real thing, right? My kids, again, you know, five, six hours a day on Zoom with their class, you know, getting instruction from their teacher and then doing work on the side and whatnot, it really wears you down. There's, and there's been tons and tons of articles and research that's been done right now about how this is, um, you know, changing how we're interacting and it's it's really affecting us so you know my goal with setting up the summit is is figuring out the ways that we need to disrupt how we're delivering education right so that we can really adapt to what is now you know i hate to say it, what is now our new normal right um we are starting to open up in many parts of the world although hey I, again last year when we did the summit i was in the, the country of bangkok right or sorry the country of thailand in the city of bangkok and Bangkok has had a great, great run over the last pandemic. You know, they closed their borders and, you know, that, that really allowed them to, to keep things clear and open. But just we've just started to see this over the last couple of weeks where COVID's crept in and now schools are going to be shut down through May and businesses are closed and marketplaces are closed and whatnot, right? So this is a thing that is going to continue to happen throughout the foreseeable future, even when everybody's vaccinated. We're going to uh, need to figure out how do we disrupt this system so that we're always prepared and always able to deliver. Um. And so what we've done this year is that we have, hopefully you've seen this, we have decided to build a summit where we're cracking the code on learner engagement, right? Cracking the code on learner engagement allows us to look at the new normal and you know, how do we deliver as a new instructor? We talk about how do we build engaging experiences and how do we use tech to enable it, right? So before I go further and kind of and walk you through the days, uh, I want to you know, just take a second, maybe answer a couple of questions or see what's happening in the in the chat down here, which means I've got to refresh the screen here. If you have questions, please do uh, put them in the comments there so that I can you know, respond to them. Or you know, Christian, my colleague here, he will respond to them as well. Um, it's also your opportunity to you know, chime in and you know, answer some of these trivia questions so that you can win an all access pass and whatnot. Um, but wow, yeah, all right. Once I refresh the screen here, it allows me to come down and see. All right. Ann Mustin, great to have you here. We are a small education consultant. Mari, uh, I apologize for uh, butchering your name. Gayser, maybe? But you're from Colorado. Nice. I am too from Colorado. Love, I'm so glad you're here. Um, Miriam um, Alzerbini, right? Great to meet you. Rita Sukrit, so nice to see you. Nadia Anwar. You know, Nadia, I'm so excited. Nadia, she's in the comments there right now. She just called out. She's one of our expert speakers. You're going to love it. She works for the University of Management and Technology in Lahore, Pakistan. This is an institution that has totally had a leapfrog moment, right? They've looked at this, you know, they, they took on the challenge of the pandemic and they said, look, you know, we're going to make the choice to go over here uh, and, and not look back. And so I'm excited to give her presentation on day three. But before I go further, um, I got I to gotta thank our sponsors. Right. Without the sponsors, this is not possible because it takes a ton of work to put on a summit like this with, you know, 72 different speakers, uh, you know, global, um, you know, global attendees all over the place and just uh, the value they have. So Platinum sponsor, OpenLMS, you'll actually see throughout the summit that well, OpenLMS actually is a co-presenter of this summit with us. And we thank them. Intelliboard, um, you know, if you have any, any needs at all around data analytics or anything like that, 
um, uh, you know, knowing and understanding the data and using that for student engagement, you know, go check them out as well. Blindside networks, you cannot um, have been in the e-learning universe for any amount of time and not heard of Blindside because they built Big Blue Button. Big Blue Button is one of the most popular video conferencing, uh, you know, tools that are used out there, especially in the Moodle platform. Aumena, uh, some new good friends of ours, right? Uh, Jad Najjar, he's the CEO of Aumena out there. Um, they work in Europe, the Mediterranean, the Middle East, uh, providing uh, e-learning services and helping institutions, governments, schools, uh, and, and whatnot. Um, the same as Remote Learner. I just want to call out kind of a similar Remote Learner. You can see there as well. They're a learning pool company. They recently were acquired by Learning Pool, and I can't wait to share um, Dr. Paige Chen's uh, conversation um, and also Sharon whose name I'm forgetting right now. I really apologize, Sharon, um, but we'll look at the agenda and we'll pull it out there. Both of them are going to be um, uh, presenting at the summit, one on day two and one on day three. Uh, and I'm, I'm really excited to have them on the show. And then original, uh, this used to be called Urkund. Uh, and then they were, you know, they combined with another organization. Now they're original. Um, there's some great things happening there. If you're thinking about, you know, most people say plagiarism detection. Right, but original is really about authentic, you know, producing authentic work. And so I'm really excited to have Eric Gibbs uh, on the stage with me again this year. He's going to be talking about how we, you know, create those authentic experiences in the digital economy. Um, and then finally, our bronze sponsors, My Learning Consultants. They joined us last year as well. Uh, Michelle, John, uh, Ryan. They're going to be on the stage with me as well, uh, talking about how we increase learner engagement. Arlo, another new uh, new sponsor for us this year. They are based out in New Zealand and they work on. Uh, basically training management systems. And I'm really excited to, to you know, put that on the stage. EDU Labs down in Columbia. Um, this is something that's really exciting. I'm going to talk about in a second, but I might as well mention it right now. We have, Christine, I don't know, you can remind me. I think we have 10 sessions that are in native Spanish that, that this year. Is that correct? Um, I have to go back and look. But we have, you know, several live sessions that are going to be just in Spanish, and we also have um, several pre-recorded sessions that are going to be in Spanish, and also um, we have a dedicated channel in our Slack that is only for Spain. You know, that if you want to you know, converse with your colleagues in Spanish as well, we're really uh, reaching out to that part of the world this year. BKK Kids, another uh, sponsor of ours, they are an education um, uh, information provider out in Bangkok. Cloud. Uh, you know, uh, cloud is a provider of a education platform or a learning platform. And I'm, I'm interested to hear their, um, their live presentation on day two about how to run a truly memorable graduation uh, online. Like, I think that it's, it's going to be a fascinating conversation. And then again, we have um, Dr. Charles Severance, uh, the Sakai Foundation, uh, joining us as well as a bronze sponsor. Something else that's really cool, we have our media partner, eLearn, uh, you know, the eLearn magazine um, is joining us as well and to be able to not only talk about all of the different things that we learn here but then also take that knowledge and figure out how what do you what do we do with it how do we go um you know where do we go with it next i'm just going to take a take a second again now and just um you know it's 20 after the hour just want to check with the, the comments here see see who's here it looks like there's there's some good stuff um vincent unger i see that you and jenna career both work at uh, Drew University, that's fantastic. I'm really excited to share Jenna's presentation um, about, you know, level up your game with gamification. BB Coney, thanks for, oh, thanks for coming in from Malaysia. Nice. Um, I'm just going to refresh this again to see what kind of new comments I get. Really glad to have everyone. Again, looks like we got about 42 people in the room at this stage. Um, if you know, you just joined us, please do comment um, and, and let us know where you're from. What institution are you from? Um, you know, what part of the e-learning universe do you, do you partake in? You know, if you're an instructor, are you in, in, in ed tech? Are you a course creator? Really like to know about that. So moving on now, um, kind of why do you care? I mean, why, why should you listen to this guy right now in this, you know, kind of bright red shirt talking to you right now? Who is LMS Pulse and who is Stephen Laddick? Um, I'm the director of LMS Pulse. LMS Pulse used to be called Moodle News, and you know we decided to change our brand and, and grow a little bit and go in a different direction than just talking about Moodle. We wanted to talk about e-learning in general. Um, we've been talking about e-learning, not only the technology behind it, but pedagogy, andragy, um, you know, all of the pieces of what makes great learning through technology or through an online space. We know that for 11 years now. Um, I've been with the company for seven years, no, six years now. 
I contribute to the writing, um, you know, oversee the team, I represent the company. And there's two other, two other things I wanted to put on the table is that um, I'm also an adjunct instructor at American University. I'm actually really excited to, you know, be on this stage with Joseph Raquelme, who is the vice provost and um, at American University now, and he's new, the new director of their, their online strategy. It's really an, an interesting talk to think is, you know, to see how an institution has, uh, you know, continued to evolve and adapt with the pandemic and whatnot. So, but I'm, so basically what I'm trying to say is, is not only am, am I somebody who has been reporting on and talking about with my colleague Christian and, and others um, about e-learning, online learning, ed tech, et cetera, but I actually, I'm in the trenches, right? I teach, uh, you know, and I know what it's like to have students drop off. I know what it's like to have students get really engaged. I know what it's like to have those aha, aha moments. Um, and then, you know, LMS Pulse, we've been providing this information for, like I said, 11 years and um, this is our way of expanding that universe, growing the conversation. We like nothing more than bringing people together, uh, you know, having these conversations and seeing what comes of it, right? So what kind of value are we going to put on the table? I, one, one thing that, you know, we just, we get you started right, right away with the type of value that we put here in that um, as, a, as soon as you sign up, to be a part of the summit, we provide you with this 10 critical factors for optimizing student engagement in e-learning, right? And this is not just sort of, you know, your three page PDF that kind of, hey, here's, you know, a couple of paragraphs and, you know, that's great, everything like that. This is a, a, a true field diary that you can use to not only mark your place about where you're at in your e-learning journey right now, in terms of, you can see here, accessibility, your setup, your delivery, your exam, how you're doing examinations, how you're doing gamification, et cetera. Not only, you know, is it, is it a place where you can market, but we've generated this and we created this so that this is something that you can return to on it, however often you want, quarterly, biannually, annually, or whatever, and say, look, what worked, what didn't work, what do we need to change? And, you know, how can we continue to improve our e-learning game? So, you know, I, if you haven't gotten it now, uh, or, or you didn't download it when you first got it, go back and look at that email that I, I sent you, uh, you know, as soon as you registered and check out this, this learning engagement guide. And if you didn't get it, come over to the Slack, just ping me or ping, you know, L, at, at LMS Pulse uh, and we'll send one over to you. You know, it's, it's PDF, doesn't cost us anything, right? So, uh, you know, but I really expect, you know, or I really would love, love for you to do that. Um, and, uh, you know, you use this field guide. Incidentally as well, I'm going to talk about this in a second. We're going to actually be giving out some free all access passes for people who fill out the guide, you know, give us their assessment and then upload it into the Slack and share it with everybody. We're going to be giving away uh, a bunch of all, all access passes as well. So now let's talk about the event, right? Let's talk about the event itself. So at its heart, you know, the summit is about how do we crack the code on student engagement, right? How do we crack the code on student engagement? And we've, we've built it out so that it's across three days. The first day is, and I'm actually going to pull up another page here so that we can just look at it right now. The summit, so the, the, so the first day of the summit is looking at how can I be a more engaging instructor, okay? And we have, you can see here, these are all of the speakers that are going to happen on uh, on day one here, right? Not only some, you know, some live sessions with guys like Phil Miller, um, you've got, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Samuel de Jesus, um, you've got Demelza Marie about, you know, how do you um, become a better video coach? Or sorry, a better, she's a video coach and she talks about how you actually deliver better video, um, which actually, I'll be honest with you, I'm going to go back here. This seems like, like you might scratch your ears, like why in the world, you know, would, would this be here? And the reality is, is this is one of the most powerful topics right here that, you know, we all think that we know how to deliver video. We all think that we know what we're doing uh, when we get behind that camera. She gives us a really, you know, over 20 minutes, she just goes bam, 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 and gives you, you know, I think it's like 15 tips about how to, how to make your game better. Uh, and, a, and, and I just love that presentation. Uh, here you go, my, uh, our friends over at um, My Learning Consultants, this is Michelle and Ryan. Uh, they're going to be talking to us. Uh, this is Zach Eikenberry about how do we fit, you know, solve the one size fit all problem. So as you can see, you know, day one is about how do you, how do you up, level up your game as an instructor and really bring those students in. Day two, I'm going to go down to day two here. You can see there's so many sessions. 
you know, it's going to be easier. Day two, again, a huge list of presentations, a huge list of things that are happening, right? Um, all of these speakers here are going to be talking about how do you create more engaging experiences, right? Again, this is the person, Sharon Kalubi, and I really I really apologize for getting your name, for getting your last name uh, earlier, but uh, she's with Learning Pool. Um, moving to a culture of self-directed learning, right? How do we create those engaging experiences that students are actually autonomous and they, they're able to choose which way they want to go and where they go, you know, um, what their outcomes are. Um, this one right here, demystifying peer coaching. Again, another one of these sessions where it's like, hmm, how does that connect? But Aaron Hurst, Britt Provost, they put on, uh, you know, put on the table about why it's so essential through for mental health, for, you know, um, professional engagement, for, you know, cultural improvement, um, why this peer coaching is just a, is just a fantastic thing. And then day three, um, if I can just take us up to day three here, is talking about how do we use technology to increase engagement. So again, you can see all of these, uh, you know, fantastic speakers. Uh, again, I'm really, really excited this year again that we have Martin Dugiamas, who's the founder of Moodle, the world's most popular learning management system, right? He and Mary Cooch, um, uh, tag, you know, they, they team up together to talk to us. And, you know, something that I put out there that this, their, their talk is not about Moodle. Their talk is about how do you engage learners and teachers, but they just use Moodle as a backdrop. And I got to tell you, I was, I, I just loved it. I just kind of sat back during the, during the presentation and just, and I just said, wow, you know, I'm just going to let them run because it's, you know, it really provides again, that value and those step-by-step -step action points that you can take uh, to level up your game right now. A couple of key pieces that is real, that are really important. That I want to that I want to focus on here. First, you'll notice as I've been going through this, there are both live sessions, and there are pre-recorded sessions. Right across the entire summit, everything is going to happen over 24 hours. Right, so every day is is 24 hours long, and when we release day one tomorrow, you'll have 24 hours to to, to digest all of the material. Um, after those 24 hours, day one shuts down and it won't be available anymore unless you have an all access pass. And then again, day two, it's you know. Uh, it's got those 24 hours and then the same for day three. Um, it's all virtual. You, you know, you can consume all of this. It's all available to you. Don't, we don't hide anything. You know, it doesn't show up at any particular time. Um, but um, once that those 24 hours go away, that's, that's it. For the live sessions, they're all scheduled at a very specific time, right? We have a calendar of events. If you go to elearningsuccesssummit.com forward slash calendar, and you can see when these live sessions are. This is where you can do that real-time Q&A. This is where you can come into the Slack channel and, you know, post your, post your questions and answers in that, that main stage uh, channel. For the other sessions as well, we do offer that live Q&A time as well for every single session, right? Again, let's just look at it. We just, you know, we offer it for every single session and you can see the full summit schedule here. Um, at each of these times, the speaker, most of them will be available to answer your Q and A. Now let's just say, hey, look, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm, you're unavailable to talk to Ian Evenstar at, at, you know, three o'clock New York time. Maybe you live on the other side of the planet. Maybe that's the middle of the night or maybe, you know, you're just, you know, you're at work and you can't do it. Here's the good news. In the Slack channel, uh, or in the Slack workspace, we have the speaker connection channel. This is a place where you can uh, connect with any of these speakers anytime, start a conversation, start a thread with them, ask them questions, you know, get connected. Maybe there's a project you can work on together. You can, I can see here, look, here's Eric Gibbs, here's Don D, D, um, Don D. Perry, um, here's Fred Dixon, um, here's Olemi Olantuji. Um, he's in Nigeria, right? So that you're connecting with people from all over the world and, um, that you have this opportunity right here in your hands right now. Um, one thing that I want to remind everyone when you're in the Slack, if you've never used Slack before and you're looking for a, you know, a particular person or you want to tag a particular person, you want to start that conversation, make sure you use the at symbol, right? That's going to allow you to find a person and, you know, really send that message, you know, send that message directly to them so that they're notified. Otherwise, if you just type in their name, like, hey, Christian, you know, I'd really like to meet up with you. Um, you're not going to have the same success because it won't get to them. The message won't get to them. And we have so many people that you have to make sure that you use that ad symbol. I'll continue to remind people over the time. Um, something I want to I note as well in the schedule here as well, 
we have a lot of sessions that are in Spanish. So if you are part of our, our part of our community that's in, you know, right now where I am, I'm, I'm in Mexico City, or if you want to, you know, go down through South America or go over in Spain, um, if you're part of the Spanish speaking community, these, these are real opportunities to connect in your native language. Christian's going to be hosting those sessions. Um, he's from Colombia. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've actually, it's, it's really surprising the number of individuals uh, in our in our community who have really embraced this opportunity to grow and connect uh, in that language. Here is another piece that we're doing differently this year that we didn't do last year and I'm super excited about. We have prizes, right? This is our prizes page and there's five games that you can play. So, um, you know, I, I just want to take two seconds to walk through each of these games and hopefully get everybody excited about getting them done. First of all, our friends over at Aumena, they are, you know, offering a really special price for their um, Moodle certification, right? But, and, you know, I mean, and you can find that by going elearningsuccesssummit.com forward slash MEC. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But we've decided as well to actually give one of these full certification, Moodle education certification courses away for free. So it's a $400 value. Um, all this requires is that you create a video presentation and then you bring people in to watch and comment on it. Uh, and then we're going to have a panel of judges from our sponsors to decide the winner. So there's that's that's game number one, right? Game number two is about, we call it the secrets of e-learning. Um, we're giving away two Airbnb gift cards. Both of them are worth $125 each. And this is, you know, about, again, calling out and appreciating our sponsors because these are people who really do have, you know, their finger on the pulse of all things e-learning. They can answer your questions. They, um, you know, can collaborate with you. They can help you figure out how to be disruptive and, you know, do something really special. And so really just, we're encouraging you to go talk with them, ask them your questions, get a secret word from each of them. And then once you've gotten 10 of those secret words, you can enter to win this Airbnb gift, one of, one of the two of them. The third game that we have, we're calling Global Connections. Again, you just heard me, you know, Yemi from Nigeria, uh, you're going to love his presentation. Uh, you know, so, but we've got Yemi, we've got um, Justin Hunt of Poodle, you know, he's in Japan. We've got speakers in Colombia and uh, in Chile, um, Claire Evans of Yo Invento. Um, we have people from North America, obviously, we have people from Europe. And so um, Jonah Goldstein is what I'm drinking up right now. He's in France and he talks about collaborative learning. Um, one of the really, really exciting pieces about coming to something like this is again, making those connections. So we're giving away 10 of these, 10, 10 $25 gift cards to you know the, the place of your choice. You see there, Amazon, Spotify, Apple, whatever. And what you have to do is you have to create a shared video with someone from a different country. And then as you can see here, you wanna talk about one thing that's similar, one thing that's different, and one thing you both wanna share with the e-learning community. And then you put it in the Slack channel and then we will um, get people to comment on it. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we have the fourth game is about the e-learning journey um, and you can win a free all, Summit All Access Pass. The Access Pass is pretty sweet, gives you, you know, lifetime access to all of the sessions. You can watch them at your leisure. Some other bonuses from speakers and sponsors that you can't get without a pass and um, some exclusive social channels that you can't get without a pass as well. Um, we're giving away 20 free All Access Passes for anybody who downloads, you know, the, the, the engagement guide, the field diary, fills it out, actually puts together, you know, their thoughts on what their situation is right now and what their plan is to move forward. And then the final one, we're going to, you know, we're giving away um, 25 gift cards of $10 to super contributors. And those super contributors are people who are working in the Slack to help people around to connect people, to, you know, to share resources, to, um, you know, basically make this a better place and make this a great community that, you know, you want to be a part of. And all you have to do, you know, to, to get this is you have to be nominated. And the people who have the, the nominations, the most nominations, um, will, uh, will win these prizes. So really excited about that, that particular piece. So, Christian, right now, I'd love to do it uh, I'd love to take a poll here in the um, in the Facebook session right now, and I'd just like to say, hey, you know, um, what which of the three days speaks to you the most, right? Is it day one about being a more engaging instructor? Is it day two about um, uh, creating a more engaging experience, um, or is it day three, which is um, you know, using tech to enable engagement. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm interested in, right? Um, 
what's you know what's you know what's your favorite day or which one would you are you really most interested and in, are you going to be paying attention to i'm just going to refresh my screen here it looks like we still got about 50 people in the room 46 people in the room pretty excited about that um we'd really love some feedback from you and um you know ask your questions so that we can get them answered got to scroll down on these comments to see who else is here now Ooh, maria jose from argentina welcome uh Eva, thanks so much. I'm so glad to hear that you, you know, you're really appreciating the topics and that, you know, they look like they're going to speak to you. Believe me, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be the guy who's recorded uh, almost all the sessions. Christian obviously recorded the sessions with the Spanish speakers. Um, but I'm, I'm also going to be on the stage with these live presentations. Ton of value, just a ton of value out there. And it's going to be really, really cool. Um, so let's walk through kind of done this already but let's let's walk through it again and look at some of those um so some of those speakers that we have i'm gonna start from day three and go backwards you know what we can just click that button it takes us right back up there Woo. um as i said nadia anwar she's at the university of management technology in lahore really excited about that one terry fannin and mark malia um uh, they are from a company called innovation and they talk about three different things. One of the biggest topics that they talk about that I'm really interested in is called knowledge hubs uh, and how you use those to increase engagement in a, in a corporate setting. RJ Redden, I'm just going to show you RJ. Our, this is RJ. RJ is one of the sweetest, sweetest people on the stage that we have this year. She runs a company called uh, Black Belt Bots and she talks us about how to create uh, you know, in a very, very simple and intuitive way, how you use chatbots to increase engagement in your course or in your institution or whatnot. And basically, you know, it's about building a, a choose your own adventure novel. Um, I really uh, encourage you to check her out. Um, who else? Eric Saito. I just saw him flip past. He's with um, Straighter Line. Uh, and Eric Saito talks about how do you use nudging or is nudging worth it in order to increase um, uh, learner engagement uh, with uh, nudges of um, messaging and those kinds of things. Who else? Dean Saunders. He's always a great guy on the stage. He's going to be talking about essentially, you know, what does the, what does the next generation of work look like in this new normal, right? Um, we've all seen it. We've all experienced it now since we're all working online and we're all getting used to this, you know, being a part of remote culture and whatnot, you know, taking time and where you just, where you stop working and you, you, you go learn or, you know, you go to an institution or you go to the training room, um, that those walls are, are, have either dissolved or they're dissolving very quickly. And, and Dean's going to talk about what that means and, and how, to, how to make the most of it. One more person from, um, you know, Kim, since you're in the chat and uh, I, I want to, uh, you know, and, and I really appreciate you being here for this Facebook Live as well. I want to call out Kim Salinas and Steve Geiersbach. Um, Kim works for eLearning Experts and Steve Geiersbach at Jack, Jackson College. This is a great presentation that they're going to give about how they... Uh, basically, I'm going to call it not, it's not the, it's not the hugest tweak, right? They made a couple of tweaks to a course that they had been teaching for a long time and they saw learner, uh, sorry, completion rates just skyrocket. I don't want to steal their thunder, right? But just suffice it to say that this is a critical, you know, skill or a critical um, action item that you can take. Again, you can put it into your e-learning practice today. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, so glad to have Kim here and Steve. Uh, to have that conversation. Let's go up to, let's go up to day two. Um, you know, in the second day about creating more engaging experiences. Um, I've talked about Aaron. I've talked about Sharon, um, Jonah Goldstein. Um, let me, let me give a call out to Jonah. Uh, you know, he works for 360 Learning. He's going to be talking about how you do collaborative learning uh, and what that meant in his company. Gives us a real nice case study and actually presents the data, uh, you know, about how collaborative learning has increased, you know, engagement in the courses that they produce. So excited for that um, particular conversation. Um, Ted Curran, uh, again, Ted is always a great speaker. Um, he goes, he gets a little more into the nuts and bolts if you're in a corporate environment about how you onboard instructional designers. And um, you know, he created with his team at, at, um, at Autodesk, um, a multimodal modal path, what he calls multimodal. So it's basically three different modes of how you onboard people and, and what that means for uh, building out an instructional design team. Um, and then another one, uh, Gwendolyn Kalmal, she, you know, she works for uh, Salesforce and she talks about how you co-create with learners. 
Um, another another really cool presentation that walks us through you know building engagement by not creating no, not putting the best content on the table, not by making sure you're the expert in like that, but actually working with your learners through the entire design process to make sure that you're building something that everybody's going to benefit from. Um, and I can't remember is some Rudy. We'll see. There's there's another person here who. I really, ah, here she is. She's on day one. So I want to call out some Rudy Sardashian. She works for LinkedIn. And I got to tell you, folks, I don't know that if, if we're going to have, you know, the, the contest of, you know, the top three to five uh, presentations, this might be, in, you know, definitely in that top five category. So Rudy takes us through research that she's done, you know, about over um, the past couple of years, looking at a large data set of learners about what actually, you know, engage them. How did they... Um, Move forward, Christian. Sorry, did I hear you? Anyway, sorry, I thought I, thought I heard Christian uh, step in there for a second. But some Rudy, um, you know, really puts it on the table. She puts the data on the table. She puts, you know, the analysis of the data on the table. And again, just like with Kim and some of these other, like with Eric Saito, and the the outcomes, the, the the what the data shows about what do you need to do in order to engage learners. Uh, surprising to say the least. Surprising. Uh, just call out a couple other, you know, individuals. Ian Everstar, I'm really excited to share this this particular, um, you know, unf your course. It's a great, you know, very straightforward, but very very practical um, conversation around how do you, you know, how do you how do you up, you know, level up your game as an instructor and design courses that students actually rave about, right? So, did I miss along the way? I think I missed along the way that we need to give away a all access pass winner. Christian, do we have, if we have people who have um, you know responded to that poll, uh, our first poll that we took, let's um you know uh, I'm going to let you randomly pick someone for, to give that that all access pass to um, for answering that poll. Um, and now just going down my agenda here about what I want to do next. I want to recap because we're kind of, you know, we're already three quarters of the way through the hour. And I want to, um, I want to ask another question. So here's how you can win another all access pass, right? We're going to give away two all access passes for this right now. Um, I would like for people to put in the, uh, the chat right now in the Facebook live, what is your greatest engagement challenge, right? So what is it that you find most? Is it designing courses? Is it, you know, leading the instruction? Is it creating that blended environment? Is it the technology? Um, is it just, you know, overcoming this, this new normal? What is your single greatest engagement challenge? And we're going to give away two all access passes here in just a few minutes after I recap stuff. Um, I'm just going to pop over to the, the comments and just see if there's anything new over there. Again, thanks for, you know, thanks for sticking around. I know it's, you know, it's a Tuesday night for, for me. It's, you know, Wednesday morning for some people on the other side of the planet. Um, so we've got that, uh, we've got that poll out there. Excellent. So if you want to answer that question, like what is your most engaging challenge right there? Uh, let me do a recap of what exactly is um, the all access pass and how does it work? Okay. So the all access pass, I'll remind you that, you know, as you are in the summit, you know, you have these three days, each one of the days lasts for 24 hours, right? <laughs> Obviously, but that means the information lasts for 24 hours here at the summit as well. And so uh, the sessions always start at 10 a.m. New York time, and then they go until, you know, 9.59 the next day. Once that day is complete, if you have a free ticket, all of those, you know, that, that those day sessions are going to be locked away in what we call the all access pass vault and you won't have access to them anymore. And then day two will happen the same way. And then, then day three will happen the same way. Um, during that time and, you know, across all three days, you know, the Slack workspace will be open. You can engage with whomever you want. You can talk with speakers. You can talk with your colleagues, et cetera. The reason why an all access pass might be an interest is just simply because um, there's no time pressure. 
right? Uh, there's 72 hours of engaging material here. And if you're interested in, you know, taking your time with it, you know, sucking the marrow out of it, really, you know, being able to dive into each of the presentations and whatnot, um, it might be a good idea for you. Uh, if you also, if you want access to some of the bonuses from the speakers and sponsors, those are good. We've got, you know, software discounts, we've got course discounts, we've got, um, you know, consulting discounts and those kinds of things that are available to, to all access pass holders. And then finally, um, we do have a couple of um, social channels that we offer not only in the Slack, but in Facebook and other places where we offer, you know, new material first. Um, we offer, you know, uh, a free consultations sometimes, you know, there's, it's one of these places where we always bring the value first to the all access pass members. And then, you know, if it's, if it's something that the vendor or um, LMS Pulse wants to then bring out to the public, we do, do, you know, we bring it out to the public, you know, sometime later, either weeks or months later. So it's a, you know, it's a way to kind of be first in line and be part of that exclusive group. Um, finally, you know, uh, I'd love to have, you know, I'd love to have your questions. Before I do that, I want to call out the, the two, two kind of special deals that we have going on this year. One is the Moodle Educator Certification Training. Again, you know, we have one of these in the prizes that we're giving away for free. So if you win that prize, it's a $400 value and, um, you know, you're going to get your own certification choice, certification course from Amena. Umena, sorry, they keep keep telling me I got to pronounce that correctly. But if you you know if you don't win that prize and, and you still like it, we're actually have a, a really special deal to, that you can get your Moodle education certification training for for two hundred and fifty dollars from from Umena. Um, and you know if you want to learn about what that means, the six different modules that you go through, you know all of the different pieces that are uh, you know a part of becoming a Moodle certified educator, you can find it on this page here. Again, that's elearningsuccesssummit.com forward slash mec. Uh, and you can check it out. Another thing that I want to point your attention to is the training management system from Arlo. Uh, we have a full outline and introduction into what a training management system is, how it connects to a learning management system, um, and why it might be useful. You probably need both of these if you deliver a lot of training, especially in a corporate environment. And so if you go to elearningsuccesssummit.com forward slash TMS, here, I'll put those up here, uh, elearningsuccesssummit.com TMS, you will be taken to that um, that piece of information, and again, they've got some great uh, great offers for you as well. Just want to make sure I put this on the screen as well. This is for the uh, the Moodle certification. Um, nice, Mar Mar Margie Swafford. Thanks for sharing. You know, um, uh, thanks for sharing. The technology is your biggest challenge, right? Um, Kim, thanks for putting out there that, you know, oh, you put out, you know, about your, um, about your particular topic. Excellent. Thanks so much for promoting it. I really appreciate it. Um, I would love to hear from more, more people about, you know, what is your e-learning challenge? And um, we'll give away two of those all access passes for the people who come in and tell us your, uh, your e-learning challenge. Right now, I just kind of want to open up the session, uh, you know, this final, the final part of this kickoff party here to, you know, to all of you, if you have any questions that you want to put on the table, um, you could put them in the, uh, the Facebook uh, channel there. You can, if you're in the Slack channel, you could put it there as well. Um, I just realized that um, I have not been sharing my screen for quite a while. That is quite embarrassing. Um, so again, to walk through the MEC, Moodle Education Certification Training, if you go through elearningsuccesstomach.com forward slash MEC, uh, we will have, uh, you know, we have a fairly robust uh, amount of information about what the MEC is and why it benefits you and what the discount is. And also here you can see as well, we have the, um, the, uh, the learning or the, 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 the training kind of introduction to what a training management system is and why you might need it as well. Um, and then let me wrap it up. I wanna wrap it up again by um, you know, thanking our sponsors again. Uh, our sponsors are OpenLMS, again, our platinum sponsor. Uh, you know, this, this conference definitely wouldn't be uh, possible without them. They have, you know, provided us with a ton of support that help us co-create this. You're going to see them all over the Slack. Uh, and, um, you know, please do reach out and ask them questions. Inteleboard for your, your learning analytics. Um, 
understanding the data behind your learners and, and what you're collecting through your learning management system and more. Blindside networks, Umena uh, and remote learner. These are certain, well, Umena and remote learner service providers, they, uh, they, they, have, they offer a different perspective on how you can create um, engaging experiences and um, what that means. Blindside networks, the creator of Big Blue Button. Um, looking forward to Fred Dixon's talk. Uh, I think it's on day two. And then original as well, looking forward to Eric Gibbs's talk on how to create authentic learning, right? It's not about plagiarism because plagiarism isn't, you know, that's, that's not, not really what we want to talk about. We want to talk about how do we support our learners to create authentic material. And then finally, our bronze sponsors, My Learning Consultants, they're going to have a couple of great sessions. Arlo uh, also has a couple of great sessions on blended learning and what a, you know, on, on about training management systems. EDU Labs is going to be talking um, about I mean, I think all of EDU Labs sessions are in Spanish, but again, they're going to be talking about how do you create these experiences that make sense, right? That, that, that engage learners, that bring them in, and then offer real value and outcomes. Uh, BKK Kids, if you'd like to know how do you create, uh, you know, um, an opportunity or, you know, share student information or share um, institutional information effectively, you can reach out to them. Uh, cloud. Uh, again, I'm, I'm very interested to hear their talk about, you know, having that online graduation and then Sakai, uh, you know, one of the big learning management systems out there. I'm really looking forward to have Dr. Chuck. And then finally, another shout out to eLearn Magazine. Um, eLearn Magazine is, uh, you know, our media partner and I'm really looking forward to seeing what insights they glean from all of the presentations and um, what they put out there in the universe. Just going to check real quick, see if there's Shereen, thank you so much. Yes, I'm ready for tomorrow's sessions as well. You know, they start here in just under just under 12 hours, right? We're going to kick it off. Me and Phil Miller will be live on the stage to, to, kick, every, to kick everything off. Um, I'm just going to go over here. Um, oh, Carlos, looking forward to uh, you sharing about how you've developed a method that keeps your students engaged all the time. Um, Nadia, thanks for sharing about creativity creativity. Uh, yes, Kathy, uh, Forbert Ray, I agree with that. You know, her, her engagement challenge, how do you change the mindset of the instructor from being the sage on the stage to being a mentor or tutor? Thank you so much. Um, Paola, thanks for sharing, you know, um, leading instructions and in technology. Cam, um, engaging faculty. Excellent. Fantastic. So great. Thank you so much for all the comments. We really, really appreciate it. Um, again, I want to remind everyone, we have some really super prizes, uh, you know, for the, uh, for the summit this year, you can get a Moodle certification course, a Moodle educator, uh, education certification course. Uh, you can become a Moodle certified educator. Uh, that's one of the great ones. Uh, another one is the um, two Airbnb gift cards with $125 for um, you know, visiting our sponsors, you know, getting your questions answered and really, you know, just having some fun with it. Um, creating global connections with your, your colleagues around the world um, can get you another $25 gift card. Um, taking the e-learning journey can get you a free all access pass by filling out that field diary, field engagement diary. And then finally, super contributors. We're really looking forward to this community being somewhere we, where we actually connect, where we actually share, and we actually um, you know, all participate. With that, folks, I'm going to sign off for this party tonight. We're going to have 72 hours of, I'm, you know, they're awesome sessions. They're awesome sessions. So I'm going to uh, to call it here. Uh, Christian will um, be awarding those last two um, all access passes to the people who were um, gracious enough to contribute their e-learning challenges. And again, you know, join us. There's there's plenty of other fun that's going to happen over the next three days here. Um, again, my name is Stephen Laddick, uh, and I look forward to seeing you on the main stage. Have a great night. Or a great day if you're if you're on the other side of the planet. Ciao.